Uh, I don't want to go to school today, Roxanne. I'm sorry, Gregory, but you have to go to school. And plus, it's Friday. It's it's going to be an easy day, and then you have all weekend home, okay? Okay, fine. And plus, I already made waffles, I made donuts, and we have lots of different stuff for breakfast. You can even have some coffee this morning if you want. So, now that I'm thinking about it, what? you aren't wearing your ruined Roxanne suit anymore. And now that I'm also <laughs> thinking about it, you weren't wearing it yesterday either. Yep. <laughs> um, Did you actually... talk to management? Did you? Um... No, but I'm going to be talking to management today. Oh. And I don't think they're very happy about it. It just, uh, it got to a point and I know that you were supportive of it and even your father, Glamrock Freddy, was really supportive of it, even more so than I thought he'd be, but it just comes down to I might be an animatronic and I might technically be a robot, but I still have emotions and feelings and I, I need to advocate for myself a little bit. I, I should be respected and having to wear basically a clown suit doesn't make me feel very respected in my workplace, you know? Um, yeah. No, I I totally get that. And, um, you know, I want you to feel good. And, I mean, I even told the management when we were having that whole conversation. I mean, well, you are more than just your looks. I mean, looks are a huge part of you. They're a huge part of your self-confidence. And Roxanne Wolf is not Roxanne Wolf if she's not confident. Exactly. And I'm more than willing to wear the suit during, you know, filming or stuff they need for the game or even signings. But when I'm at home, I I just want to be myself. Absolutely. You get that, right? No, totally. And I, mean, I was a huge advocate for you in the meeting as well. And I know. And I, I really. I really appreciated it. I mean,. You know how awful those upper management men are. And apparently I get to talk to a new one today, which should be even more fun. Oh, great. Good to know they're hiring more people <laughs> that yep. I'm sure all have the same tendencies. Um, Absolutely. They're all the same. I can go with you if you want, or um, maybe we can get Cassie or something. Um, Gregory, you have to go to school today. I, I need to be able to deal with this on my own too I'd, I'd love to have you there but even Freddy has offered to talk to management and I think that's why I have a new management representative oh uh, that's good yeah I'm just I'm trying to be hopeful but at the same time I don't want to get my hopes up too high I, I don't know what they're going to do when they hear that I don't want to be ruin Roxanne all the time Absolutely. I mean, they can't get mad at you for not wanting to wear it in our, in our house. I know they got mad at you before, but, like, I don't know what they don't understand. I, again, we get it if you're at work and everything, but, I mean, when you're here, you're just with me or with some of our friends. We're not filming things here. We're not, I mean, I guess we are, but, like, you know, for the channel and everything. But besides exactly. that... I, I don't know, Gregory. You, you heard the threats they made before. Finding a replacement or something. I... <sighs> If replacement replacement the case... they're not gonna replace you roxanne you're roxanne wolf that's what i'm hoping but i don't know we'll see the point is if i have to get a different job or maybe just focus on our youtube channel for the time being i can do that right it doesn't i mean just because um, my main source of income and the reason I'm basically alive doesn't want me anymore. I, I don't want to think about it anymore. No, Roxanne, I don't want you to think like that either. That's really not healthy, honestly. Um, I mean, it's kind of true, but... Um, it's very true. Look, there has to be a way that we can, you know, come to a compromise. Maybe, uh, if maybe you can convince them um you know at home i'm roxanne and when at work i'm ruin roxanne and there has to be you know a common ground yeah i i certainly hope they'll listen this time and you know what maybe i'm just being too pessimistic maybe with this new uh management man he'll be a lot more willing to listen unlike the last one maybe we can come to some sort of compromise absolutely i i I don't want you to get your hopes up, but I don't want you to be super pessimistic about it either. I mean, we all know that the last guy was really awful, but yeah, exactly. maybe this guy will be great. And hopefully he is, and we can get all this sorted out and just move on with our lives. Because I'll be honest, it's kind of dumb. Yeah, it is dumb. Very dumb. 
Um, speaking of great guys, I believe your father is going to be here in just a few minutes to take you to school, so... Did you just say why they... That saying, thinking of great guys? Yes? Oh my gosh, you are... <laughs> okay, so what? I'm a little bit of a simp. <laughs> I'm just glad to be getting back out there. And you know, my confidence is at an all-time high. Getting Wait, has Freddy seen you back. back out of Rune Roxanne again yet? Since you guys have been talking... No, he hasn't. I mean, we went on our first official date together, and of course Ooh. I had to be ruined during it, but <laughs> you bet your bottom, once uh, we plan another one, my cute outfit is coming out. <gasps> oh my gosh, the one I picked out? Exactly. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, but eat your breakfast, get your backpack, get ready for school. Um, I gotta grab a few things from upstairs, and then I'm heading to work for my meeting, so... Okay, well... Good luck, Roxanne. I really hope everything goes really well. Of course, and good luck to you. Hopefully, when I walked you to school the other day, scared off your crazy fangirl enough, did it? Um, yeah, I haven't seen her around in a couple days, so... Good. Alright. Have a good day, Gregory. You too. Bye! Bye. Alright, here I am at Bonnie Bowl. I really hope this goes better than my last meeting with these upper management men. Um, they said to meet him here, uh... I also heard that his name is Bartholomew, but do I call him that or do I call him Bart? Bart isn't a very good name. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. All right, just keep your composure, Roxanne. Keep that confidence and you are going to walk in there and make your demands. <clears throat> um, now where? Oh, um, hi over there. Uh, Hello. Are you one of the workers here or are you, uh... Bartholomew. Oh, I'm Bart, yes. I I see. <laughs> um, I'm Roxanne Wolf, as you can probably oh, tell. Oh, yes, the wolf! Mm-hmm, that would be me. Um, and I heard that uh, you're going to be my new representative uh, for the upper management, thanks to Freddy, so... Yes, absolutely. Uh, Freddy seemed to think you needed new representation, so I stepped in to... Maybe see if I could help a little bit. Uh, between you and I, uh, the last management man that I worked with was kind of a little hard-headed and didn't really want to hear my thoughts on certain things, so I'm hoping that together we'll be able to come to some sort of common ground and understanding. Oh, absolutely. I'm all ears, see? Look at my ear. Uh, yeah, you do have ears. Um, alright, so I guess let me go ahead and grab one of these sodas. Um, all right. I assume that you can kind of already see I'm not currently Ruin Roxanne. Yes, that's why you looked so weird. I thought I recognized you, but I wasn't sure because your face is a lot less ugly. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> um, I figured being upper management, you would definitely recognize one of the four main members of the pizza place. Well, I'm um, new here. I'm new here, okay? Oh, uh, okay, sure. Um, but yes, uh, I, uh, that's where most of my concerns lie. Um, With me being I... new here? Listen, Ronaldo, no, 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 everything's no, no, no. going to be fine, Ronaldo. okay? I'm going to represent you well, and you don't have to worry about uh, anything like that. Um, um, how was your, uh, busy faz? Is it good? Mmm, <laughs> that is quite tasty. Something's telling me you're going to be no different than the last man. Listen, um, yes, Ronaldo. Uh, my name is it's... Bart. B A. T A O B A R T H. Silent H. Oh, you've, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, Bart. Um, my name is not Ronaldo. My name is Roxanne. Oh, Ronaldo Wolf. <laughs> my bad. Roxanne Wolf. Oh, Roxanne Aldo Wolf. There's no Aldo. You're involved. the one with the sign. Uh, Genevieve. What? What's their name? Gregory. Ah, uh, Gregory. Yes. Genevieve, listen, Gregory. I just need you to listen for five minutes. That okay. sounds like quite a long time, and, you know, time is money. Two so. minutes. Okay, two then. minutes I can spare, but hold on, let me, let me get my soda at least so I can enjoy something during <sighs> this. The last management man I talked to discussed with the upper... Are you going to slurp the whole time I'm talking? Well, sooner or later, I'm going to have to finish my soda roni. <sighs> the upper management man I spoke to last said he discussed with upper management that I would have to remain in the ruined DLC, ruined version of Roxanne. I'm here to tell you that I'm no longer willing to do that. 
Okay, enough with that. Oh. I'm here to tell you I'm no longer willing to do that. At least when I'm at home and on my off duties, I would like to remain as is. Hmm. So you're telling me they told you to tell me that I have to tell you that you have to stay in your Rune Roxanne costume. No, they told me that I had to stay in the Ruin Roxanne costume, and I'm here to tell you that I'm not going to do that. Well, I then am here to tell you that you have to do that, because it's not up to me, it's up to Upper Upper Management. You, you're you supposed to be a representative of Upper Upper Management, and you're supposed to convey my requests at the same time. I just want to come to a compromise. Look, I We don't am... do compromises, Ronaldo. I'm really sorry about that. Um, look, you should probably get back into your costume, especially now. I mean, you just told me you would be in your costume while you're at, you're at work, and while well, you're at work, so. I am willing to be in the Ruin TLC costume while I'm at work, but the point I'm trying to make is I'm not going to continue wearing the costume when I'm at home. And if that's going to be an issue, then I'd rather discuss that with you now instead of it becoming an issue later on. Well, it's already an issue. Isn't it? That's why we're having this conversation. Exactly. That's why I'm trying to come to a compromise. I'm sure they've already told you that if you can't, you know, listen to upper management's requests, we'll find a replacement for you. I have been told that, and I'm going to be honest, I'm at my wit's end. If that is what you feel like is necessary to do, then do it. But just know I'm not sure where wit's end is. Right now we're inside of Bonnie Bowl. B-O-N-N-I-E, bowl, yes. like bowling. I, if you look behind you, there's a bowling alley. Yes, I, I know where we are. It's a more of a matter of fact of, how do I put this? You're trying to replace me. I've been dedicated to the company for years now, and any replacement to me is not going to give you the same quality, the same passion, regardless. But they if, will make us lots and lots of money. <laughs> indeed. And if that's what's most important to you, then by all means. But I'm not going to sacrifice my confidence and my respect for myself in order to uh, do your wishes. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just not going to do that anymore. Look, I might be a robot. I might be an animatronic. But I still have feelings and emotions. I respect you as an animatronic, Ronald. Ooh. Truly, I do. But I just need you to know, I can try to vouch for you, but I cannot tell you what upper, upper management or even upper, upper, upper management is going to say about this. At this point, I don't care. It's your grave if you want to lie in it. A random question that doesn't mean anything. What happened to the accent that you had before? Oh, my accent. Um, yeah, um, I don't know where it went. It was, uh, um, um. It's, it's a fake accent, isn't it? No, it's not fake. Oh, Sometimes it just men it just slips in same. and out between the 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 accents. You know, I'm from right. London. Where in London? Um, the one with the big Ferris wheel. The London Eye. That one, and eyes I do have. <sighs> Look, I'm just. I think we're just going to keep talking in circles. So. Oh, I, um, I can talk in circles if you want to. I mean, I think we're going to get pretty dizzy if I continue to do this uh, for a no, long no, period of no. time. But if okay. this is truly yeah. what you think will make you feel better, then... Just pass along my feelings to upper management, please. Yes, of course I will do that. Um, cool. I just want you to know, um, again, Ronald, I cannot guarantee what they're going to do to you. They may even fire you. I know. And unfortunately, at this point, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Ooh, a risky me, woman. <laughs> or not. Well, I have utmost respect for you, Ronaldo, truly. I hope you believe that. I mean, I'm supposed to be representing you, and if you don't believe me or have trust in me, then who am I to be representing you, right? You trust me, right, Ronaldo? I can't trust someone that's not even going to get my name right. Oh, so. Ron. Ronaldo Wolf! Yes, we just went over this. I'm so sorry. Roxanne. Roxanne Naldo Wolf. Wait, where are you going? Here. We're not done with this conversation. I think. We are. By Billy. It's Bart. B-A-R-T-H. Silent H. Whatever. <laughs>